It was a beautiful, bright day when Amuchi woke up beside her husband, Rafu. She smiled at his face, feeling grateful for marrying him for all the right reasons, his kindness, care, and gentle nature. They had been married for over 18 years, yet it always felt like their first year together. Amuchi quickly got out of bed, took a shower, got dressed, and hurried to the market. She wanted to make his favorite breakfast before he left for an important meeting with investors interested in sponsoring his gold mining venture in another town. When she returned home, she found Rafu with their children, as usual, all seated and listening to him tell a story. Today, he was recounting a childhood memory of when he and his brothers went to deliver Christmas greetings. They visited an old man's house where they found him cooking. A large fire roared and a big pot was boiling. The children waited patiently, excited for the Christmas meal, while the old man periodically called out his child's name, Akpolo, blow the fire. Unbeknownst to them, it was just water boiling. After several hours without being served any food, they realized no meal was coming and left hungrier than they had arrived, cursing the old man on their way home. Amuchi prepared Rafu's favorite meal, bitter leaf soup and pounded yam. He loved it, and he thanked his wife for always knowing how to make him happy. They both took a shower and got dressed, as Rafu was to drop Amuchi off in town before heading to his meeting. They chatted and laughed heartily in the car. When they arrived at Amuchi's stop, she got out and turned to bid him farewell. Rafu stared at her for the longest time, as if sensing it might be the last time he would see his beautiful wife.